Hey everyone, what you see behind me, it looks like just your sort of run-of-the-mill, scenic, picturesque, but otherwise pretty typical view of the water. Um, it's actually a bit more than that. It's uh, where I am right now is Gatsby Point. Although I guess, technically speaking, Gatsby Point is about half a mile out in the water behind me. Um, Gatsby Point is the location at which a Revolutionary War era event called the Gatsby Affair occurred. Now, for some historical context, um, in the second half of the 18th century, the British government wanted to get some more money out of the colonies in America. So it kind of goes without saying that uh, colonists weren't super duper into that. Um, tensions sort of raised as um, taxes and tariffs and restrictions went up and enforcement increased. And um, that sort of came to a head up in Boston when uh, Bostonians clashed with the um, with some British soldiers. And it was sort of spun by the newspapers. It was uh, made out to be a really one-sided thing, but long story short, a bunch of people were killed. A guy named Christmas Addicts ended up being the first person killed in uh, what would become the American Revolution. Uh, he was an African-American guy, and newspapers really made it out to be that the people of Boston were fired upon by British soldiers, um, almost unprovoked. And spin or not, it worked, and the British government kind of tried to make nice-nice afterwards and uh, let things blow over a bit, let things die down. Um, they, they backed off on their restrictions, they backed off on their enforcement, and things seemed to uh, sort of calm down for a while. Now, a lot of the colonists weren't happy with that. I mean, they were happy that they weren't getting shot anymore, but um, they, they didn't want those tensions to die down. They, they, they wanted tensions to build and they wanted to separate from the British government. They were tired of being sort of a satellite of Britain um, when for generations they've lived here and they've never lived in Britain before, a lot of them. On, on the night of June 9th, 1772, about two years after the Boston Massacre, the British customs ship, the HMS Gatsby, which was a schooner, um, sort of quintessential pirate ship style, big wooden boat with big sails was in pursuit of the packet ship Hannah and the packet boat Hannah, sorry. And a packet boat is just a smaller vessel used to sort of transport smaller, more local cargoes like um, like the mail or like smuggled rum. The Gatsby is in pursuit of the Hannah, about half a mile out behind me here. Hannah is a smaller vessel, can get into shallower water without any danger, and it goes into shallower water. Gatsby pursues it into the shallow water, and Gatsby runs aground. Hannah gets away. The crew of the Gatsby is not super worried. Uh, they know that the tide's going to come in in a few hours. Once the tide comes in, they figure they'll just sail on out of there. Um, Rhode Islanders, however, had a different idea. Um, and a group called the Sons of Liberty, they were also responsible a couple years later for uh, the Boston Tea Party. But the Sons of Liberty, Sons of Liberty, led by a guy named Abraham Whipple, who um, he was a prominent Rhode Islander at the time. He um, he was a member of the Continental Navy. He rose through the ranks of the Navy, um, doing all sorts of wartime, killing people stuff, and he got a bunch of accolades for that. Uh, later in life, he went on to be one of the founders of Marietta, Ohio. Um, I think one of the coolest things that he's known for is um, at the end of the war, he became the first person to raise the American flag in England. So that's, I don't know, I guess a cool bit of trivia um, about Abraham Whipple. And um, I think Almost all of the municipalities in Rhode Island have a Whipple Street or Whipple Ave. Those are named, all of them are named after Abraham Whipple. So if you see one of those while you're out and about, um, those, are, those are all named after him. And if you see the name Whipple in one of the older cemeteries in Rhode Island, especially um, the Swan Point Cemetery in North Barrow Ground, if you see the name Whipple, those are probably his uh, family. Not him, though. He's buried in Marietta, Ohio, where uh, he founded it and settled down there. The other guy with um, with Whipple was John Brown. You probably know the name John Brown, but um, not he's not. This isn't the same John Brown that uh, you probably know from the raid on Harpers Ferry. That was during the Civil War. Um, different John Brown, just as rambunctious. Different conflict in um, American history. Uh, Civil War John Brown, though he was an abolitionist. This John Brown, he was another powerful, prominent Rhode Islander at the time. Um, he went on to found Brown University later on with um, 
with his brothers Joseph and uh, Moses. Um, but he wasn't quite as cool as either Abraham Whipple or Civil War era John Brown because of sort of power and prestige. He got through the slave trade. One of his gripes right now is that the British, they want to impose restrictions on that. Sounds like a good thing that they want to impose restrictions on the slave trade. It really wasn't. They had no problem with the fact that the, the colonists were trading slaves. They just wanted to make money off of it. So the colonists wanted to be able to freely trade slaves and the British wanted to make more money off of it. So different kinds of horrible work and I play there. Um, so anyway, John Brown and Abraham Whipple um, led, led the Sons of Liberty out onto the water behind me where they attacked the Gatsby they boarded the Gatsby, they, they looted it, and then they torched it, which that became the Gatsby Affair, which uh, the HMS Gatsby then became the first British naval vessel to be sunk in the American Revolution. It sort of reignited the tensions between the colonies and the British government after they'd sort of died down a bit in the wake of the Boston Massacre. It was a pivotal moment in the American Revolution. It would have happened anyway, but this was sort of the spark that it led to even like more frequent heightening tensions and uh, and acting out like um, the Boston Tea Party. But for some reason, the Gatsby Affair isn't quite as well known. I remember learning about the Boston Tea Party in first grade. Um, so I'm six, seven years old learning about the Boston Tea Party. And then in, uh, in sixth or seventh grade, I remember learning about the, the Boston Massacre. I um, grew up in Rhode Island never once learned about the Gatsby Affair. I heard about it in like 2006. So here I am today. This is the, this is the, I, I came down to this area yesterday. Um, I checked out the Gatsby Days celebration, which um, the Patuxent Village in Warwick, they uh, put on a yearly celebration um, commemorating the Gatsby Affair. They, they burn an effigy of the Gatsby. There's sort of reenactments. There are um, sort of little encampments with flags of round militias from different years. Um, it's just sort of Revolutionary War history come to life.